I'm Carmen Schlickburn from West Point, Nebraska, and I work on this farm with my dad, and brother-in-law works with us as well. We have a cow-calf operation, and I have a place a couple miles from here that we feed cattle on as well, and raise corn, soybeans, and hay. This is the place that I grew up on, and my dad also grew up on this place, so my grandpa bought it, oh, probably around the 40s or 50s. So I grew up around cattle my whole life, and then I left for a little while and spent time in the Army Reserves, did a community college down in Southeast Community College, and then came back to farm full time. We work with the cooperative to um, in the agronomy sector for raising the plants and the corn and the hay to get to the feed for the cattle and then any feed that we can't raise ourselves, like protein supplements, we get through the cooperative. I was asked a few years ago to by a local producer that was on the board to interview for the uh, associate program. So I spent two years as an associate and uh, learned a ton then. And then last November I was asked to run for the board. Quite honestly, I didn't know that CVA was the company that it is before I was an associate. But I knew that I would be able to learn a lot. And being able to transfer that knowledge that I'm learning on the board to my operation is definitely beneficial. One thing to remember about cooperatives is that the customer is the owner of the cooperative. So that's a huge thing that you have the say in how your cooperative is run and who represents you on that board. We're always focused on the producer and every board meeting I've been to, we've always focused on does what we're gonna do, is that gonna bring a benefit to the producer? So it's when you have the producer at the forefront, then you're gonna be a well-run cooperative. When people throughout the ag sector are willing to work together, then we will be better off as a whole because there's so many different narratives out there about agriculture. When you're just one person trying to fight against some of the misinformation, then that doesn't work out too well. But when it's a whole group of people trying to put the right information out there and trying to better the agriculture sector, then you're gonna succeed. It's always important to put your time out there to serve people better and to just make your community better. The community is made up of those around you and if it's filled up with people that are willing to donate their time and talents, then you're gonna have a really good community.